This is Appalling News. I'm Paul Chatto. In our continuing Dumb Young Things series, we found this person making the following claim. The reason why I don't use the term good morning, did you know back in the slavery days after the masters had beaten us, taken our children, raped us, hung us, burned us, and then left us in a dark shed overnight? They would literally open up the door and they would greet us by saying, did you have a good morning? Meaning, did you cry all night over the things that we've done to your loved ones? So this is the reason why I took good morning out of my vocabulary. Because truly, if you think about it, there is absolutely nothing good about mourning. Ashe, ashe. Those of you without even a smattering acquaintance with etymology would probably have found this claim to be suspicious the moment it escaped from her orthodontally administered perfect teeth. Apart from the fact that this person is clearly channeling the ravages of a past that seems to have left her completely unaffected, She might have asked a certain Apple phone assistant to query the origins of Good Morning. They would have learned that its earliest known use was in the Middle English period between 1150 and 1500. The Oxford English Dictionary says the earliest recorded evidence is from around 1450 many, many years before America's founding in 1776. Even Snopes has covered it, saying good morning started as mockery of black enslaved people. It debunks the exact claim this refugee from the education system does in her video. The original quote read, English-speaking slave owners wished their black slaves a good morning after owners killed or otherwise harmed the slaves' loved ones. When the original poster was brutally mocked and ratioed, the poster made a retraction. Perhaps this septum ring aficionado could have avoided a similar fate by doing some research. She might be familiar with the German phrase Guten Morgen, which also means good morning, and has origins at least that old. Maybe she should start watching reruns of Hogan's Heroes. You might have also noticed how she embellished her fabrication. After the masters had beaten us, taken our children, raped us, hung us, burned us, and then left us in a dark shed overnight, they would literally open up the door And they would greet us by saying, did you have a good morning? Sorry, you are literally wrong. It is horrible when the sins of the past are visited upon the present. No one should wish for that. But this dumb young thing spent more time in the beauty salon than any of her alleged antecedents spent in the fields. In the West Bank, the Palestinian Authority offers Pay to Slay, a program for any local with a death wish who attempts to kill an Israeli civilian or military personnel who then gets killed in the process. The family of this self-deleter will get a monthly allowance, but now Amnesty International offers a far less dangerous proposition. Make up to $30 an hour to be a professional anti-Israel protester in the comfort of your adopted Western home. Warning, the following is not a parody. Field organizers, canvassers, receive paid training and competitive wage ranging from $20 to $30 an hour, $100 to $200 weekly bonuses, and $600 to $1,000 monthly bonuses available, plus a $300 bring a friend bonus for you and your friend. Strong health, vision, and dental insurance with a 401k. Over 25 paid days off per year, professional development management, and travel opportunities. 
inclusive social workspaces that celebrate diversity and nurture differences. Essential duties include must be ready to walk up and down stairs and hills multiple times a day, outdoors in all seasons and weather, either autonomously or with reasonable accommodation for the full shift must be available to work 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. between three and five days per week. And you don't need experience. Good news for all those encampment students looking to pay off their student loans. This has been Appalling News, and that's the way it is.